Hi, my name is Will Shields, and for my interview, I interviewed my dad, the CEO of Shields Communications. Shields Communications was founded in 1986 and incorporated in 1991. It's a privately owned and operated company. Shields Communications was one of the first telecommunication contracting companies in Virginia to install, terminate, and test fiber optics for the local area. They specialize in providing and installing warranties for cable from everything from Cat5 to fiber optics to allow people to have internet. The customer base for the company ranges from Fortune 500 accounts to the home office. Some key examples that we've done business with before are Dominion Power, Ferguson Enterprises, and the University of Richmond. When talking to my dad, I asked him what his best business approach to making strategic or high level management decisions are and to what degree our, our family and non-family managers are involved in the process. His response to that question was that there's only two people that are really involved in the decision-making process of the company. And that is my grandma and his right-hand man, Mr. Braswell. And while they're involved in the company, they don't really make any key decisions because he said he feels most comfortable with himself making those decisions. Well, they do give their opinions on everything and he values those opinions very much. Each of their opinions are valued for different things, especially with my grandma. She is the accountant of the company. So when it comes to finance decisions, she is a key opinionator in those kinds of decisions for all kinds of things that involve money. Then with Mr. Braswell, he operates the company's daily activities for job sites, crews, um, all that kind of stuff. If there's problems, he's gonna be involved in it. He knows what's going on. He talks to each job supervisor and he's kind of, he, he will visit each site and he knows what's going on. He reports directly to my dad and they talk about what's going on at each job site. And if there's any problems, they talk to each other about it and he'll give his opinion on how it can best be handled. And he refers that information to my dad. And from there, my dad makes a decision on how exactly that will be handled. So it's, it's a big process of everybody really working together. Well, and then while my dad's at the top of the company, he makes that decision for the company, which he thinks is best. While I think this is an interesting method to go about for the company, there's definitely some pros and cons of using this type of way of work for the company. Um, some of the pros of this are that it, it's, it's got a type of strategic planning in it and how everything works, especially with how there's a pyramid and how the power structure is with my dad being at the top and Mr. Braswell, my grandma being at the second level, the project managers on the third, and then just the laborers on the last level. And I think it works fairly well because just this makes everything much easier to do and decisions are much more decisive in how everything works. All the some cons in it are, especially with how my grandma and Mr. Brazel might react sometimes when their opinions may not be extremely valued because my dad is the boss, he makes those final decisions. Um, there's kind of a zero sum dynamic going on there sometimes because they're not completely equal, I believe, especially with how my dad can make those final decisions and kind of just cut through everybody else. But I mean, that's part of being the boss. So, I mean, it's definitely a con if sometimes their opinion doesn't really reach the same ideals as his, but I definitely feel like this is the most clear way to do business. And just because if you had a whole board, it would be very complicated to make quick decisions and act decisively. Um, but that's what I gathered from my interview.